Hi, this scratch video will look at how you can create your own boat and wave sprite and draw your own sky backdrop. So let's get started. I'm just going to minimize this screen so you have full view of the editing uh, screens that we will start to use. So first thing, how to draw your own sky backdrop. We're currently clicked onto the backdrop area here and underneath that there's all these different backdrop tools. Um, what we want to do is click onto the, uh, the paintbrush tool, which will allow us to draw our own backdrop. So let's click onto that. And it opens up this drawing screen. Um, so how I like to create a backdrop, and it's just going to be a very simple sky backdrop. The first thing I probably want to do is come and select the different tools I've got here. And I'm going to use fill with color. So let's just click onto that and what that will do is basically fill up this whole white back screen or backdrop with a color that I choose. So I've already gone to my color palette selection and clicked onto the color of the sky which is the blue here and what I want to do is I want to have a bit of a, a gradient effect. So it's, um, it's sort of uh, darker on the top and a bit lighter on the bottom. So I selected this gradient effect tool here. And all I need to do now is simply click onto my backdrop and voila. That's how you can create a sky backdrop. Number two, let's create a, a boat sprite. So again, we're going to come into this section here where this is how we can create new sprites or select a sprite from our library. So now what we're going to do is click on to paint new sprite. So let's click on to that. And again, it opens up a, a drawing screen where you can start getting creative and draw your own sprite characters. For the boat, what I'd like to do is um, I might actually convert to um, a vector mode. So I'll click on to convert to vector and I will click on to convert to vector. Sorry, I'm trying to get used to this screen and I'm going to click on to my pencil, which I'm just going to actually draw an outline of the boat first. But before I do that, let's go back to my colors and select the color of the boat. So for the boat, I may want to apply a, a brownish color. I can actually change the width of my pencil. And let's start drawing a, a very simple shape of a boat. Here we go. That's good. Now, of course, you can take your time and get a bit more creative and make it look really fancy. But for now, all I want to do is show you how you can use some of these features. So there's my outline of a boat shape. Um, I may want to fill in the, uh, the boat with some color as well. So let's go up here and I've got my fill with color or color a shape tool. So I'll click onto that. And instead of a gradient effect, I might just have a solid color. So I'll click onto the solid color tool and then simply click inside there. And there you go. And that's how you can create a, a boat sprite. I'm going to create a wave sprite now. So similar to how we created the boat, I'm going to go into my sprite area, click on to paint new sprite. And it will open up a, a new screen altogether. Now for the wave, I'm actually going to stay in my bitmap mode. Um, and what I'll do is I'll use my um, a brush tool. So I'll click onto that and again I'll select the color of the wave. So let's make it a nice dark blue and all I want to do is just create a shape that will look like a wave and it will start to look and behave like a wave once we apply some coating. So let's just go ahead and make that nice and thick and simply just create a little shape going across the bottom of the screen. And I would just um, brush the whole bottom part with my color blue and hopefully this will reflect a, a, a wave. Make sure every little part is filled in. There you go. 
And once I'm onto my screen, let me just open this up now so you can have a full view. I can adjust the shapes around to fit within the screen. Now, I think what I'll do is remove my default cat sprite. So I'll click onto my scissors tool, which is the delete, and then click onto the actual sprite I want to remove. And there you go. And that's how you can create your own sky backdrop, create your own boat sprite, and create your own wave sprite.